What's it like? What's what like? To fall in love. Do you remember what it's like? Hmm. Come with me. Please. I don't know how to describe it. I guess I'm not very good at talking about these things. So I'm very, very excited to let you all know that we have a new graphic novel, and it's called The Magic Fish. Um, it's about a 13-year-old boy named Tian who has a crush on his friend um, Julian. And the conflict comes from that Tian wants to tell his parents about it, um, and he wants to let them know that he's gay. But he literally doesn't know how to. Um, his parents are from Vietnam, and they um, don't fully understand English. And Tian finds out that there is he can't find a phrase or exact word in Vietnamese um, to tell them that he's gay. So it's the book is kind of him figure trying to figure that out. Um, and he discovers that maybe through fairy tales, he can express that to them. Uh, the artwork in the book is very beautiful, very sensitive, delicate. Um, it has a very limited color palette. I think there's only three colors used throughout the whole book, um, blue, yellow, and red. Um, and it really lets the drawings shine through. It's very dreamy, very much what you would expect from a fairy tale inspired comic book. So this is a book I would recommend to um, teens um, and even preteens. Um, I would say ages 12 and up um, for fans of other graphic novels like Princess and the Dressmaker, Bloom, um, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. Um, it's a very sweet um, story and it it's um it has a it it will appear appeal to a lot of different genres um cuz it bounces between fairy tale stories um moments of Tian at school and during um like soccer practice and talking with his friends um and also um we learn about his mother's past in Vietnam um and she goes there for a little while um, so you have that aspect. It's just a very sensitive, um, very emotional story. Um, the only warning that I have is that it gets a little gruesome during the fairy tale scenes. Um, if you've ever read the original, like, Brothers Grimm stories, um, you know that they can get pretty violent and pretty dark. Um, so I would say if you're sensitive to, um, like, violence and death, those kinds of topics, um, maybe tread carefully with this book. Um, but other than that, I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, we have it here if you want to come and pick it up. Those are just my thoughts.